What up everybody, it's True Tech again, back with another Bushin Ryu tip. So today we are going to talk about Oki one more again. It's very important. So yes, we're going to talk about it over and over as we continue here. Um, I want to talk about something I've actually talked about before, but we got some updated Oki, we got some better stuff, and I want to make sure you guys know because I'm actually not seeing enough Kimberly players use it and it's very good so we're gonna start with um, meterless Oki with off a run slide and then we're going to metered Oki with the run and the kicks because we have some good options there so first thing first though let's start with the uh, slide so we got Jamie blocking after first hit so on the wake up he's gonna just block I'll just do that to show you the frame data so the first thing we're talking about is slide Oki. Now I'm gonna credit this to Jackie. He's the first person I've seen use it. It's very simple, but it's very strong. So you see there, it's plus two, which means on hit, it's plus six, which means you could target combo. Uh, there you go, you see that's a zero. Now you don't get the overhead plus anymore with this Oki, but it's zero, which means if you were to jab, we would trade. Um, now the frame data on the trade depends on the character there's some math involved but what that means is that at the very least if we trade jab there's no guaranteed combo you trade jabs but then you can back off jump away just block whatever but it does beat jabs it is meaty and you can drive impact back but the reason why it's so good of course is people are used to kimberly's overhead because it is so good on wake up so on hit As you can see on hit, you get target combo. It is a one frame link, so you will have to practice it a little bit, but it's not very hard. It's very, I find it to be pretty consistent. Um, I practice it fairly often because again, it is a one frame link, so sometimes you might find yourself missing link, but it's very strong because of that. And it looks the same. That's the one really good thing about this is it looks the same on the low as it does as the overhead. All you see is dash and then run. And of course you can just throw, if they DP, you can just run stop and nothing's going to happen. Yeah, but you get the idea. So that's why it's so strong. It's, it's uh, you get to set up a low, a meaty low, that combos into target combo, while still threatening the overhead and the overhead being zero on block is very good as well because you know like i said there's no of course it'd be greater if it was plus one but hey you can't have it all sometimes but sometimes you can and let's go into that so this is going to be a little bit different this requires meter now if you go into this like i said right now you know we got that uh which is plus one on block, right? But there's no low threat from here. So what you can do is drive rush. Now you can see that's plus four on block. That's really strong too, because most people after that knockdown are used to the overhead. So a lot of them will instinctively block high. And that sets up this here, which gives you plus four. You can crouch strong, you can crouch fierce. Um, here in old combo is plus eight on hit so you can crouch fierce something like that but that's not the end that's just the start now here you are again that's the overhead all they see is the green it's very i don't think it's re able to react i don't know you know the mathematical stuff but i haven't found anyone who just reacts to the overhead it's still plus one on block which means you're able to get the jab and still here and on hit you get target combo Right there, high low. And you get a throw as well. And then if they are known to DP, 
This is not something you can hear, what you can do. And you heart beat it. So, thanks again for watching this Mushin Ryu tip. I appreciate all of everybody, all the Kim players out there. I hope you're all getting strong and uh, getting that MR up if you're in the master rank or getting the master if you're not. If you like to have a match review, hit the sign up for Sensei Tech Please Help Me. Follow on Twitter and Twitch for random tech that doesn't get posted here or maybe not ready for a full video yet. You might be missing out on some stuff because you're not following on Twitter. And as always, I appreciate all the game players out there. Peace.